You've been hearing me talk about the new epinephrine auto-injector with a lower dose and shorter needle appropriate for children less than 33 pounds. But I know not everyone has access to this device and I want to say a few words about that. First of all, we have been using the 0.15 milligram devices in infants for a very long time. There have been no serious adverse events ever reported when epinephrine was used intramuscularly in anaphylaxis in children, including when these auto-injectors were used in much higher than ideal doses in very small infants because there were no other device options available. Infants have very healthy hearts that handle epinephrine extremely well. Secondly, even though the needle length of the 0.15 milligram devices has been reported to be too long for some children less than 33 pounds based on ultrasound studies, there haven't been reports of problems in the literature, and this may not be as big an issue as these studies suggest. Also, you can create a little extra depth in your skinny child when you inject by bunching up the thigh like this. There's the hip, here's the knee, and you just take your hand and you just bunch the thigh a little bit before you inject. Here's a picture of a mother who's doing this. She's nicely holding the child against her, uh, sitting on her lap, and she's just using her hand on the outside to bunch up that thigh as she injects with an EpiPen. So if you don't have access to the new 0.1 milligram auto-injector, please don't be afraid to use a 0.15 milligram auto-injector on your infant or toddler. This medication has saved many, many lives and has the potential to save many more, but only if you use it. The biggest risk to your child in anaphylaxis is not using epinephrine when they need it.